Hello to everyone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good morning. So welcome to a new point of view from Lina Pelle Fair is our new digital edition for London and New York. Today is, is the 23rd of July and today we are so pleased to introduce Mary Diana Tees. So Mary Diana today is our brand spotlight and we are ready to get inside a journey of Mary Diana with our very special relators, which are our sales team. So Petra, welcome, Martina, welcome, and also Georgia, welcome, but also Eduardo, welcome, which is because you are the other team. Ciao voi. So, oh, hi. 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 Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello nice to everybody. To <laughs> nice to see oh, you. Nice, nice to have all of you here. So I know Georgia is from Great Britain right now. So That's right. Great. And Petra and Martina, where are you now? We are in Meridiana. We are yeah. so in Ponte Agola. Inside the <laughs> right. <laughs> So, Petra, do you want to start to tell some brief story about Meridiana? Where are you located right now? Yes, of course. So it's a pleasure. So, for every, all of the customers which uh, don't know Meridiana yet, we are situated in uh, Tuscany, in the heart of Italy, in the center of Italy. And Tuscany is uh, also a beautiful area for arts for vacation for food and drink everybody knows and um, our tannery is situated uh, in between Florence and Pisa it has been established in 91 by Mr. Luca Rovini and we are carrying over the um, tradition of handcraft Tuscan handcraft in our leathers Great. So it's a wonderful place. It's a dream on place. Yes. So like yes. <laughs> and it's very hot now, but it's nice. <laughs> yes. Inside it's cool, we are fine. Yeah. So, so and then inside of a journey mm. of uh, Meridiana, because it's interesting now to see what's what's going on. I know you prepare something you want to introduce to the, the people that attend. Yeah, we will show a brief uh, video of the tannery and uh, showing a little bit our products. We, uh, Meridiana is specialized in the production of um, embossed calf and goat leather for shoes and, and uh, leather goods. This is the building outside. This is part of our collection. We do, as I said, all kinds of imitation leather, reptile imitation. We developed our new collection now, the first time online for winter 21-22 and uh, will be presented later. This is the showroom where we are now situated and this is the way we prepare and um, develop our collection all together with the technician and uh, our staff checking and developing the, the new materials. Mm -hmm. And um, here we have a brief view of the tannery, the selection of the raw material. We select the skins one by one. These are the drums, uh, enormous drums, uh, where we can tan many hundreds of square meters of leather drums in wooden drums. Um, this is a view on our, let's say, battle horses on the croco prints, which, uh, in which Marianne is very famous and we, which we've developed now since, since um, the beginning of Meridiana and have a, we have a big experience on it. Another slide on the tannery where the leathers are after tanning are dried. Mm -hmm. We do the tanning, uh, the tannage and the coloring of the skins in the drum and the skins are dried here. And you can see this is all hand, let's say handmade because we check the leather also one by one while we um, put them to dry. Another view on our 
on our articles on uh, snake prints, which we do on calf leather and goat leather. This is a view on the printing plates, on the embossing plates, which we produce by ourselves in galvanic bathes. So they are unique and we have the possibility to customize also the embossing plates. We have many of them. These are the raw hides, uh, supposed to be embossed with a enormous embossing machines with a high pressure, temperature, and a certain time, the skins um, get this uh, crocodile or lizard or snake embossing and will later be finished in our, in the finishing department. Also this one, this, this uh, kind of production is made all by hand and we uh, pay attention that the skins are embossed like the customers um, want to, to be. This is uh, again a view on metallic leather, foil leather, which we also produce. Application of foil and then embossing of the skins. And let's see, next one. Um, this is um, part of the finishing department with the spraying machines and the ironing machines where the skins are put by hand. Um, into the um, spray machines and uh, are colored. This is a very particular um, process which you cannot find in other tanneries in, in, in many parts of um, Italy. I mean, this may mainly um, popular for the uh, center of Italy, this hand staining process and hand coloring process of the leather, which are um, really um, colored one by one. And that, uh, can I? Can I jump inside, you know, maybe you can stop the video now, a little bit before. I like it to interrupt a little bit because I have several questions. Okay, I'll stop it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, but if you want, otherwise you can, you can stop here. Okay, uh, I'll stop it. okay. Yeah, because I have some question. I really think it's so intriguing to see that you have a lot of hand, finishing and touching, uh, working with colors, and I've seen a lot of details. So I understand that you have a very prepared uh, people, so pers uh, persons, employees, so technicians. So yeah. how can you prepare these people to know and to grow with this kind of long experience, maybe for the young generation? What is doing Meridiana to grow this kind of passion and knowledge? Uh, we are teaching our people inside the tannery mm -hmm. and um, it's also a lot about the experience which is um, will be given from the from the elder technicians from the more um, from the technicians with more experience and of course there are also schools uh, teaching the uh, the job of, of, of tennis, of finishing, of chemicals, um, which are in this area, situated in the area, this area. Yes, it's interesting to know also because uh, many designers love to see exactly how things are made and be part of the process. So I really think that this is a very great way to see all the steps that take you to evaluate the quality of uh, Meridiana uh, finishing of Meridiana products. Okay, which well, just my curiosity, so go ahead. Yeah, say, we are also always um, happy if somebody wants to come to visit the tannery and be shown around to see all the steps of the different productions. Always very, very interesting for the people, for the customers. They're always very delighted when they come and uh, have a look and, and uh, learn many, many things, uh, many steps of the production. Great. Simple, but not. So and now are you going to show us some other some other details? So in this case they are preparing the colors and then you was going to see the metallics one. Metallics. Yeah, we are um, this is still the, the spraying machines which are uh, finishing the leather by spraying the color on it or which are 
fixing the um, the products the, so that they are more resistant to um, to any kind of, of in rubbing process or uh, processes which uh, while wearing the shoes can be or the the leather goods the handbags can uh, can damage the leather um, this is the production of samples still we have some some more um, view on uh, other articles uh, which are made by screen print or digital print or even handmade with those uh, splattering of um, Bernie's color on it and yes our, our leathers are taken all one by one uh, in hand and and uh, are checked for the quality and for their performance in the time when uh, the handbag will have been uh, made and uh, it should last it should be a product with a natural look but also with good uh, performance in while wearing, while using it as a finished product. This is the measuring and the quality control in the warehouse where we definitely pack up the leather and prepare it for shipments. We are very strict about the quality control, very strict about how the leather is packed up and because many of our shipments are going to Far East, like countries like India or Asia with a um, difficult um, climatic uh, situations on the airplanes. This is a part of our laboratory where we test, we do in-house tests of xeno tests or rubbing tests uh, by ourselves while the chemical tests are done outside. This is still a part of the showroom and are uh, part of our products. The office where we prepare the documents for the shipments, where we um, do all kinds of paperwork. Uh, the solar panels on the roof of the tannery, which are covering the whole roof of the tannery. So we are um, using green energy mainly. We are using, um, we, do, we do low carbon emissions and uh, reduce, we have reduced water consumption. These are some products of uh, what we can do with our leather. Hmm, interesting. So, so something that you also have in the back of your office right now. So you taste the leather for testing the shapes and the volume and the reaction of the product. Yes, yes. These are made for, for the exhibition and for seeing, for having a look at of what uh, we can do with this article and to show it to the customer what they can prepare with the article with our leather. Yeah, I, I have some question because we have some participants. They are asking some of the questions. I, I ask you if you want to answer. So, for instance, you was talking about quality. So are there any waterproof foil so that can be like a rainproof or wash it after so this means that your leather has a foil that can protect uh, against water or other things i mean there are different ways to protect against water one is eat hole tannage so that the water won't come into the leather at all and one is water repellent which can be um, done by us, yes, we, but it's, um, it always all has a certain limit. Of course, you cannot wear a bag and put it over your head forever when it's raining, like somebody used to do, maybe sometimes in UK, which is often <laughs> kind of problem with the weather. But we can protect the leather a lot, yes. The, um, the, the, there are lots of chemical products and protection foils which can be applied on demand of the customer also on the leather. So you mean also in other functionalities like scratching or sun yes. yes, yes. And we produce a lot of leather also for watch straps for, um, you know, for companies, for big brands uh, doing uh, watches, so which are really need high, um, high quality, high performance on while you wear the, the watch. 
Yeah, and then you were talking about the embossing is one of the most, uh, is one of the stronger part. And I, and I know that in the collection presentation, you have a lot of embossing. So maybe it's a, it's a too uh, vast question, like how many embossing typologies you have in your company? I can imagine that since you started. So a few, many years ago, maybe you have a huge archive. So did you never count that? Do you have any archive of, or, of your embossing patterns? We do have, yes, we do have to easily find them. We have about 300 different embossing plates made by us or yeah, of different crocodile, snake, lizard prints, or even woven leather imitation and so on. We can show it at, uh, if you have a look at the, our collection now, our new, new collection, there are many different. Yes, items, yes. We should be, very, be happy to show to the customers since we cannot, unfortunately, come to London this year. <laughs> so to, to join and to New York, obviously, to both of the fairs. To, to show the collection and, and uh, show them to our customers and also let them hand touch, which is maybe, which is impossible this time, but we can have a good look at the, um, at the new articles. And we are also very happy if the customer will ask us to send some sample material in, in, in form of cuttings or in form of color cards, which we will of course send as soon as possible upon request so that they can also touch by hand the, the articles. They can feel it. They can so, feel it, which is important for leather. It's also very important to feel. Yes. So we were happy to um, send out all sample material if requested. We hope so. We hope you will like the collection. And, <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I want to yeah, see okay. the collection. So we are very curious. So who is starting? Martina is starting? Yes. Yes, I'm moving now to the presentation of the collection. Okay, so which we will see. This will be the new uh, fall winter collection, so the 21 22. And the central idea of this collection can be summed up in three specific words classic, shiny, and soft. The uh, collection is divided into uh, four different themes. The first team we have developed is uh, called Gentleman Like Classic. What? Well, this group. Can yes. I ask one thing? Can I ask one thing? Can I ask yes. you to switch off the sharing of the PPT so we can see a bigger screen? Because I like to see very well the, the product. Just stopping yeah. the sharing. And this is the first story that you are showing to us. Yes. Everyone can see a bigger screen. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're also technological. It's fake, so we are not <laughs> No, not yet. It's actually the first online presentation, so be with us. Yes. Perfect. So now we can see the product. Okay, go ahead. So everyone can click on it and then okay. we can see. And, yeah, okay. Yeah. And they can see a large image of this. So the first group is what we call Gentleman Light Classic. This group features our best-selling evergreen articles, our beautiful crocodiles uh, we are well known for, which is, as we saw before on the video, handcrafted, hand finished with the tamponing and the finishing made by our, our ladies here inside the tannery to reach this uh, two-tone effect and this uh, transparency and uh, for a very rich uh, leather. We are also presenting our snake, which has become a classic by us. We, we have uh, presented, we are presenting now the new fall colors. And the snake we, we offer in both in sites as well as on goat leather. Um, in this group, we also included a new line of leather, which is made with vegetable tannins and which is suitable for the men's shoes as well as in the leather goods or belts. Because this is a leather which, is very, uh, which can be customized by the, the customers. Uh, for every different uh, finish. 
Uh, the next group, the following one, is what is called the Warrior Dundee. We are proposing here new plates. You can see here a more classic croco, a smaller one with a belly, a small belly part, as well as a stingray print. Uh, this uh, team is made on a, a black base and then is, uh, 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 we are playing with the metals or with the mixed jar of different colors to eat to get a very rich and vintage looking and precious uh, effect. So this is this group. Uh, then I think Georgia can introduce you the other two groups uh, of uh, of, new, of the new collection. Yes, thank you very much, Martina. Thank I will you. do my best as I, I unfortunately am not at the tannery, so I'm yeah. looking at the screen <laughs> as well, but obviously I know about the new theme, which is a romantic frame. And I think we're going to, to see them shortly. Yes. Well, yeah. obviously this theme, it's featuring some, uh, uh, a lot of metallics. So it seems that the metallic and the shines effect have been um, introduced in this new Autumn Winter 21 collection. And I can see now that you can look at this fantastic snake. It's a metallic snake with a print on it. So it is embossed with a, a snake embossed and then a print with all these colors over a foil. And um, all these articles obviously can be they are done on a foil, but as Petro was saying before, they're really careful at Meridiana at paying attention at the performance of the leather. So you can be reassured that any metallic also will perform well. So high performance. And um, you will see in that article in particular, this has got a digital print. I can see now the camera is going towards a, a croc. <laughs> this is a, a fluoro croc with a degradé effect. And um, obviously, colors can be made bespoke. So that's another option that the technician can offer to the customers if they want. And also, the embossing can be bespoke because you can see there a, a wide crock where the degradé effect uh, comes out very nicely. But sometimes, for a specific reason, the customers might want to have just the belly of the croc or just a small scale or bigger scale. As uh, Petra shown earlier, there are so many plates at the tannery and everything can make bespoke. Or you can just go for the article that they are presenting now and then obviously follow the trend. And then I can see another uh, fantasy there. It's another print. I think if the camera can go a little bit closer, I think it tries to reproduce a hair on hide with the emboss and then a digital print of a leopard print uh, with a with a shiny and metallic effect and so this is where you can really see how the different techniques come together and you have embossing digital printing finishing and uh, so it really requires a lot of skills from the technicians and is there another article there yes i think there is a another snake that I haven't introduced the this one yeah that one very nice again it shows in this one if you can see there is a, a detailing of metallic and shiny and matte and again it uh, it, it is rather soft and uh, the all the snakes can be done on calves which are very nice and soft or can also be done on goat which are then used often for shoes or small leather goods. And then we go, I think, into another uh, theme, which is the safari jungle, where we'll have a little bit more of an animalier uh, theme there. And you can see, again, all these fantastic colors that we can see in, from the camera. So if we go in, I can see, yeah, this, this is a nice uh, ostrich, yeah, in, in, in purple, in burgundy, is a nice ostrich. This is a kind of a classic article, but obviously this is, uh, is now presented with a very soft hand feel. And uh, yeah, I can see you can move it and, and show how soft it is. 
and uh, again there is another one where you can see the uh, yes again a hair on emboss with a, a digital print on it with some metallic I can see very 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 nicely done and and so many of these are made by hand so there is really the the use of the um, industrial uh, aspect mixed with the hand made which is making really the collection special and innovative because the, the, the good thing about Meridiana is they are really innovative and they always try to follow what the customer requirements are as well as giving them some uh, uh, some new ideas. So for sure, for sure, Georgia. And I can can I say that uh, Petra and also Martina and Georgia, you gave us such a positive message. So because looking these colors, the metallic shades, and this also this kind of fuchsia gradient crocker printing, it's really giving a positive message to designers and now they are looking to find the product that can attract the consumer. So I think it's really, really interesting what you are presenting to us. I have another question. So you said that you have plenty of plates with different types of patterns. Is that possible for you, designer, to see these archives online, maybe in this kind of live streaming presentation so they can pick and they can choose it and they can talk with your connection? Did you never try, not yet? Mm, no, quite right. something. Yeah, yeah we, we tried, tried something, but they, something. yeah. The Printing plates are many, many. So, are so many, yes. Yeah, it's better to maybe to focus on on uh, certain animals. Uh, okay. If a designer is looking for a, a crocodile print, and then it's better, I think, to to select the already finished leather because on only on the printing plate uh, you won't see the effect on the embossed leather. You won't see the effect on the finished leather. It's it's more difficult to see. You need to be really inside the, the material to, to, to understand how it will perform on the leather. So we usually, we suggest um, the embossing, that if, if we have a request on, on different uh, crocodile embossings, we do a selection for the designer and send over by, uh, also by digital means or by, by courier, the, the different options of the printing plates. We can discuss it over over phone, over email, yeah. what kind of material they're looking for, what kind of size they're looking for. So and yeah. that's the right one. Yeah, I, I like it to ask you because you see, we also have someone are just saying beautiful collection. We can see very good in online. Is it interesting you say, so a designer can just ask you, uh, maybe for example, they are looking for lizard, maybe which types of scales, they wanna match a few colors together. Maybe they love gradients. So you can make a radius selection and then you do some, you get to them some proposal. So this is interesting. I have another question again. So, because you know, this is the timing that we face a small collection. So small collection or a small quantity. Are you able to work in this kind of a personalization in small quantities? Is that something you can do for designers or big brands that want to enter with capsule collection? Yes, of course we can. Yes, yes we can. We can also produce small quantities, although there's always a, a limit. I mean, for for samples, we don't uh, ask for any minimum quantities. It's one skin or two skins are fine. For production orders, obviously, we need to to have a, a certain minimum quantity which is not very high compared to I mean to to, to other I, other yes other companies so but we are also happy to to develop capsule collections and to help to uh, our customers for for the sales there right. are also some a little bit of stock always available particularly in the crocs the yeah. classic one yes. the classic available in a lot of colors 
Yes. So yes. that helps. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. Helps. So we have a few minutes uh, more. So you do you want to add something more, like recap uh, some special elements of Meridiana? Maybe you want to give some more suggestions? Ah. Yeah, you can just tell like uh, this. If you want to give some more suggestions, otherwise, I think it was super interesting to listen to you. Maybe Eduardo can share again our PPT if uh, you want. Can I say something? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, you know, a lot of British customers are interested in anything that is sustainable and anything that is like going in the direction of being really considerate of the environment and uh, therefore i think we can reassure the people who are watching that meridiana has got you know they mention it but i just want to say it even more because they have metal free tannages metal free leather they are trying to yeah i can see it now on the screen eco-friendly tannages <laughs> metal free come free and reduce carbon emissions so i just wanted to say that to because I know that yeah. our area in particular, uh, our customers are very interested. So, sorry if I spoil something. <laughs> it's going to come anyway. No, no, that's all right. It's a general uh, trend. That's a general. Yes, it's general. All over the world, uh, the customers are looking more for eco friendly leather, okay. eco friendly leather processing, production, which is all right. Or uh, and we are developing in this uh, direction. We try to develop um, the tannery to be more eco-friendly in the tannage and in the way of, uh, of the consumption of energy and the production of energy. We have the solar panels and we also um, are working on, on uh, metal-free leather and chrome-free leather, um, which is not an easy process, but uh, we are working on it because the customers more and more demand. Yes, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. I think this is a very important topic because now on it's uh, for sure is one of the first elements. And I assume that you can combine the innovation, the creativity, positive ideas, but in the meantime, improving the transparency, the story making, and also the authenticity. So I want to thanks all of you, because it was so interesting to talk with you, to listen your news and proposals. So I want to remind to all the participants that you can contact directly Petro Lamarding, Eduardo Rovini, Martina Granchietti for USA, and Georgia Coleman for UK. So here there are all the references. And let me invite all of you to our physical event because we are completely agreed that touching and feeling and smelling is one of the most important parts in our business, in our world. So welcome to next A New Point of View, 22, 23rd September, uh, very close and not so far from now. Grazie mille. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, Georgia, Martina, and Petra. Thank you. Thank you to all the participants. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.